And while the investigation calls into question the spending of this one group, the need to help veterans is not in dispute, and there are veteran support groups right here in our community that fill a vital role. Those groups rely extensively on the donations and support of the community. Our Dave Delosier joins us from the newsroom with more on one of those groups. Dave? Yeah, Susan. You know, what's really important to know right now is the need to help these veterans is as great as ever. While one group is getting attention for their spending practices, others are in the trenches every day operating on a shoestring budget and trying to do the right thing. As soon as I walked in the door, I was just welcomed by a bunch of people. It will never pass for being fancy. You're going to win again. But the importance of this place will also never go unnoticed. So it's one-on-one -on -one veterans helping veterans. It offers a place of rest, a place of just to relax. And here at Dry Hooch, it is a place for veterans like Alex DeGoyer and Abe help to find what each needs. Well, what it has to offer is a lot of things. There's like the, they have devotionals here. They have therapies. We have a PTSD support group. We ha now have a, a female vet group that meets um, the third Saturday of every month. That's a go. And every day, a veteran can find something as simple as this. The coffee's tremendously good. And whether it is therapy for PTSD or helping a vet navigate the system to get their benefits, they can count on volunteers. They asked me to become a peer mentor, so I've been here for about a year now. A veteran of two tours of duty in the Middle East, he can talk to a Vietnam-era veteran because they share something. We have a lot in common. They know because they've been through, they've been in their boots. <laughs> Hot dog again, yeah, Big Daddy. Dry Hooch counts on these volunteers and donations from the community to make this work and give these vets what they need and also what they deserve. We are still pretty much a grassroots nonprofit, so we rely on not just for from financial support, but also our programs are all run by volunteers. Which means that even if the cards and cribbage board aren't kind to you, you can always count on a vet to help. Well, you won again, buddy. I'll yep. that Three, right. I'm hot. Now, the bottom line to all of this is that even if there are questions right now about one group, there is no question that, about the need to help the vets. And groups like Dry Hooch and Stand Down Madison have a very long history of helping vets and doing the most with the little money that they have. Very important not to lump yeah. everybody together in, in one group, and they continue need, to need our help. Dave Delosier in the newsroom tonight. Dave, thanks. thanks.